Super Sports Saturday continues. We're going to be talking about McDonald's because they're feeding uh, all. Where did our guys go? They, uh, they got food and they left. I What's the yeah, deal? They had their McBreakfast and then they left. I, I guess uh, the football team they just uh, decimated our, our McDonald's breakfast <laughs> and took off. But uh, let's talk some swimming and diving. I know Heidi Buzak, but who is this other young Sophie lady? Carlson. Sophie Carlson. Two of the three uh, captains. Susie Kitzman is, is working today, so she couldn't be with us. A.K.A. sleeping? No, I don't think so. I don't think she's sleeping, probably. She just took care of that overnight. I, I was going to say, the swimmers and divers, they never sleep this late. Tom will never allow it. Oh, that's true. With some uh, morning practices through the years, I'm sure. And, and girls, a big day today, and it's been a big week, homecoming week. And uh, how do you keep enough reserves there today to go out and compete on uh, the Otter Invitational when it's been such a busy week? Sophie, uh, how did you do that? Make sure we get a lot of sleep every night. and. Just, I don't know, keep going, eat a lot of food. <laughs> well, what's a lot of sleep when you're in high school? Because, I mean, I remember high school, and there wasn't a lot of sleeping during the, the school year, it didn't seem. But... Oh, like eight hours. Really? Like, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Tell us uh, about the practice schedule this week. Uh, Heidi, have you been working hard toward this uh, Otter Invite? Are you doing uh, some early morning swims still, or do you just go after school? Uh, yeah, we've been working really hard, and right now our only morning practice is Monday mornings, uh, seven o'clock to or six o'clock to seven thirty. And yeah, we we've been practicing really hard this whole season. We've been uh, really practicing uh, really hard for all our meets that we've been up to, and uh, yeah, this meet is kind of like the highlight for us. Everybody gets really revved up for this, so. Yeah, the Otter Invitational, uh, once a year only, you get that invite on a, on a Saturday. Now, you have uh, it's a smaller meet now. It's kind of decreased in size over the years, but that doesn't make it any less uh, significant, especially when you have a team like Visitation coming in. They kind of uh, push you, don't they? Yeah, um, yeah, Visitation really, really pushes us. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're a really good team to swim against. We all look forward in, in swimming against them, and we, we have a lot of fun with visitation on the pool deck and yeah. yeah you built up kind of a nice camaraderie there uh, through the years with them you guys had a win over alexandria 115 to 70. sophie tom Uvis likes to swim you guys around in different events and i think you guys enjoy that too was this one of those meets where you were swimming off events yep lots of people were swimming different events um he likes to switch us around a lot and it's fun to swim different events now if you have your druthers what events would you like to swim on a regular basis um, I like the 100 backstroke and the 100 freestyle, so. And you're all IMers, right? I mean, everybody that's an otter swimmer is able to do the IM. Yeah, every practice is some IM, so that's fun. What, as far as the IM, and I know you, you swim that uh, pretty regularly, too, uh, what stroke gives you the most trouble there? Um, I'd have to say the fly or the breaststroke, <laughs> so. So you spend extra time on those in practice, then? Yeah, we try to, yeah. And as far as the relays go right now, uh, you're swimming the uh, the 200 free relay? Is that yep, right? I have been the last few weeks. How do you like the way that's coming together? Um, I don't know. It's fun. I like swimming different relays just to get, I don't know. To... Well, it seems like the otters have always emphasized, you know, relays and depth and relays. And, of course, it's, uh, it's good to start the meet with a strong uh, medley relay and to end it with a good 400 freestyle relay. And that seems to be something you guys do pretty consistently. Does, do you talk about setting the tone like that uh, as a team, getting out there and, and getting on top right away? Yeah, yeah, we definitely like doing that. We have a lot of fun with that relay. Heidi, tell us about uh, your role as a, a key player in both of those relays. Uh, you're an excellent individual swimmer, too, with uh, with All-American status last year in the 50 free and the 100 free and a state championship in the 100. And, uh, but those relays, setting the tone early, finishing strong i would think no matter who the competition is no matter where the the meet stands going into that 400 freestyle relay you guys have to feel like it's yours yeah we do and i think the one thing that i really try on the relays as an individual is keeping the girls positive and just keeping them excited about the races and and looking forward to when they dive in on their part of the relay so yeah what events do you enjoy the most? Obviously, you've had a lot of success in the events that you've been swimming in, but is there one event that you just really look forward to the most? Um, I really look forward to the both the 50 and the 100 freestyle because with the 50, it's all about the start and the turn. There's not really any room for error, and I really like that pressure, and there's a lot more competition in the 50 and the 100 freestyle. 
And there's no pacing yourself. You just go after it. No, you? there's <laughs> absolutely no pacing yourself. How difficult is it now? You you put yourself at, at such a high level. How difficult is it to try to try to shave off that extra, you know, half a tenth or something like that at that level uh, right now? It's got to be very difficult. Oh yeah, it's difficult. Really, any time to shave off to shave off time from the from a sprint event because well for. Uh, for the 50, it's so difficult because it, you really have to focus on your turns and, and start some practice, and then also getting that fast turnover. So it's really hard. It was even hard for me at, when I first started swimming to shave off that mm -hmm. tenth. Well, I was going to say, but your, your coaching staff, how, how helpful have they been to try to spot things maybe on your turns and your starts to try to, again, tweak that time and go even faster? Oh, they've been really helpful. Um, they they pretty much look at everything that we do in practice, and they mm -hmm. try and critique our strokes before we get into the taper the taper part of our season. And because yeah. when it comes to taper, it's a little too late to change our stroke <laughs> because we're so used to it used to it, and it works for us. And yeah, so they're they're really good at catching stuff early and <laughs> critiquing us. Absolutely. Busy week. Sophie, you've got four meets. If you go to that section true team, is that uh, going to happen next Saturday? Are you guys competing in the section true team? Do you know? Uh, Not, sure. Not sure. Okay, well, that's next Saturday, but you have two duels in between the now and then along with this otter invite. You go to start Kell Tuesday. You have Ricori coming in on Thursday. And uh, How tough is that to have a, a multiple meet week like this? Uh, it's pretty good. We keep um, our practices pretty good. We've been swimming hard, and it's gets a little tiring, but uh, we keep our girls pumped up. And Tell me how that coaching staff, Tom, and, and the, his, the the rest of the coaching staff, do, do they keep it interesting for you? Again, like we said, moving you guys around so you don't get stuck in a lull and, and you yeah. get bored? Yeah, it's fun to swim different things. He's been switching people around a bit, and we like swimming different events. And, okay. Yeah. Well, you guys are having a great uh, great season once again, and I know you're both the veterans of the Fergus Falls Swimming Program. You came up through the, the Flyers Program, and uh, it's just been kind of a, a whole community that you've been raised in there because it seems like the swimming community is pretty, uh, pretty close, and yeah, you've got great support, don't you, from the boosters? Yeah, we do. And you have home meets. They're always fun, aren't they? Yeah, we've been enjoying all our home meets we've had. So. Yeah, you don't have a lot of them, so you have to make the most of them there. How do you like the new... Uh, setting there at the school now people can even walk over from the gym and watch you from the from yeah the we love it we love having the sun come in after school for practice and stuff so yeah it's fun. Right. well good luck today what 10 30 diving prelims and then one o'clock for the the swimming finals yep. today hope you have a great turnout and a great performance all right thank, thank you. you thanks girls they kind of stayed away from the McDonald's this morning, not because they don't like it, but because they've got to compete here. Okay. Yeah, they do have to float, not sink. Yeah, exactly. Again. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Heidi Busack and Sophie Carlson, the uh, two of the three captains who uh, are on the Otter Girls swimming team, and they've got the Otter invite today over at the Kennedy School Pool starting at 10.30 with the uh, diving prelims and the swimming finals at 1 o'clock. And we'll continue with our Super Sports Saturday from the Minnesota Motor Company right after this timeout.